Hi, it's Joe. I've been spending my day today uh, in my studio working on these three quilts. I mean, they're all done, but I was just trimming them up. Loose threads, uh, making sure that everything was done and correct with them because they're getting ready to leave my possession. Uh, they're being acquired by the International Quilt Study Center and Museum in Lincoln, Nebraska, part of the University of Nebraska there. Uh, when I was given a lecture there recently, both the director and the curator uh, told me they'd like to buy some of my quilts and asked me how I'd like to be represented in the collection. Uh, and I thought for a minute that what they were asking me was uh, how I'd like to be remembered. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm reaching that stage in my life where I'm going to start getting that question now. How would you like to be remembered? Well, I don't want to be remembered quite yet. How would I like to be represented? Well, by some quilts from different periods of my work. This is a fairly recent one, about a year and a half old. It's called uh, Crazy City San Francisco. It's uh, part of my Crazy City series. This one's about San Francisco. It's all machine done. And you can see the uh, computerized quilting on the back is uh, as if you were looking through a chain link fence into a construction site. Uh huh. The next one is a lot older. It's from 2004, and it's uh, called Straw into Gold from a real life Rumble Stiltskin. And it's a lot different. This is from my neoclassical period when I was uh, trying to make, trying to use all traditional materials traditional aesthetics to make a completely original uh, quilt. So this is my idea of an anti-medallion, straw into gold. It's all freehand quilted by hand. Uh, uh, I don't know if you can see feathers, and words, all kinds of stuff quilted into it. Uh-huh. Now here it goes. They're buying two quilts, and I'm donating this one. Quilt number three is called Winter Twister. A well-known quilt of mine. Uh, it's from, oh, who knows, seven or eight years ago. Uh, it's made out of sticks of bias tape sewn down onto a white background. It was inspired by my memory of a picture that I saw in my third grade weekly reader of a collision between matter and antimatter in Siberia. These trees all flattened out. There you go. These three quilts, they're on their way. I guess I can't complain about uh, uh, people uh, remembering, wanting to know how I want to be remembered. Uh, so here's how I want to be remembered. I'm, I, and I can't complain either about selling quilts. I mean, uh, this is what I'm making them for. People ask me if I'm sad when I sell a quilt. It's like selling one of your babies. And for me, this is what I do for a living. This is what I'm making them for, is to sell. So there's a little bit of uh, wistfulness when they go out the door. I'm going to miss these three quilts, but I'm going to be happy to have them in a place with such uh, 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 with a vision completely aligned with mine as far as what quilts are and what they can be. Great place. Bye-bye.